Yeah, so Tony, I'll start with the side of business that is booming, like you mentioned here at Marine General. I spoke with the owner earlier today, and he says they've seen a significant increase in business throughout the month of April, and they expect that to continue to the month of Mar May. So owner of Brass Francisco says business never really slowed down during due to COVID-19, as they were able to do curbside pickup all along. Now they're able to have customers inside to browse the store, where they've sold a majority of their fishing poles. Customers can check out the kayaks and life jackets outside the store and Francisco says the month of April the store sold the same number of fishing rods that they'd usually sell in two years. Part of it is we're next to Lake Spear you know and so Lake Spear starts early and people start fishing right away because they had nothing else to do. Rainy Lake House boats near International Falls it's a much different story. While resorts can open under Governor Walz's order, they were told earlier this week that the houseboat rentals cannot reopen. This year would have been the family-owned business's 102nd fishing opener, and it's usually one of the busiest weekends. Co-owner Bill Doherty says not being able to open is devastating. It's a shame that, you know, they take a full blanket policy to the whole state because there's different geographic areas where it's different. And the Rainy Lake houseboat owners and other resorts in the International Falls area spoke with Congressman Pete Stauber, asking him to advocate for lifting restrictions on the houseboat rental companies. Now, Doherty and his brother, who also co-owns the business, are hoping that those restrictions can be modified soon. Yeah, certainly more to come on that one, Emma. Do the houseboat owners have plans in place to follow social distancing guidelines if and when they can reopen? Yeah, so Tony, they have had plans in place since about April, and that includes measuring the boats to make sure that they can maintain that social distancing effort. They've also increased their purchasing of sanitation and disinfecting supplies, and all that has been in place, and they're, they tell me that they're ready to go whenever they're able to, able to reopen.